Shalom Hospital, the sister mother and uh, Jeremiah Kioni, I think, uh, and, and Mwangi. We even went all the way to Machakos Level 5 Hospital. This visit was also part of our effort to get as complete a picture as possible of the pain inflicted on protesters and demonstrators, innocent Kenyans, by the police. A similar exercise has gone on in different places across our country. We wish to extend uh, our very deep and sincere sympathies to families of the love and the love of the loved ones that we have lost and those who have been injured. From this afternoon's visit and reports from across the country, it is clear Kenyans have gone through horror and terror these past days. People whose only crime was to protest against policies that they feel worked against them have been shot, clobbered to a pulp, or maimed. A number of the injured may never walk again. Many may be condemned to a life on wheelchairs. These Kenyans are in our prayers and we trust that our God who stands for justice and whom we all know never sleeps nor slumbers will lift them up. Unfortunately, Interior Cabinet Secretary Professor Kidore Kindiki, whom I know very well, in fact I call him in uh, local languages out there across the t River Tana, uh, Sendaka, whom I know well, I don't know what has gone to him, seems to love that brutality and takes pride in it. He had offered some more and heavier dose of brutality and gunfire today, despite our announcement that we would only be holding vigils in honor of the victims. We pray that the fair and just God will enable Professor Kindiki to live long enough to be able to witness justice being done to these victims of state-sponsored brutality. In the fullness of time, justice will have to be done. Justice is the only way to ensure peace and stability in our country. We know there can be no peace without justice. I refer to the book of Isaiah chapter 1 at verse 17 and I quote, learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, and please the widow's cause. End of quote. Professor Kindiki must make no mistake. We will pursue justice locally and internationally for these injured and slain heroes. These people who have been shot in cold blood in cold July are heroes and patriots. All they were asking for is to get a fair, just, and caring nation where their complaints are taken seriously as an attempt to create a more perfect nation. At this moment, we thank all those Kenyans who have extended any kind of help to the families and victims. People need a lot of help because of the magnitude of injuries and deaths. We encourage more people to come out and help in whichever way little they can. We appeal to Kenyans of goodwill not to tire of doing good. We extend our deep appreciation to our medical personnel, all caregivers, and first responders like the Kenya Red, Red Cross for going all out to ensure the injured got treatment and the dead got preserved with dignity. We know it was a wish of interior CS that the injured don't get help and the dead don't get acknowledged by hospitals and government agencies. That order remains in place as we speak, which is why getting an accurate and complete figure of the dead is difficult. But we will get there. We are working meticulously, day and night, and I thank your Pio and I and your team. 
even for the presentation. The world now knows what has actually happened in our country in the last few days. And I think we want to thank Opio and that team. We also thank our members of parliament and counter assembly members for their continued support for and solidarity with our people, particularly in rural areas. As we speak, there are many, many Kenyans who are some in police custody, and I know that uh, some of our learned colleagues have gone out there. Dunstan Omari stands out because he stood with our teams in, in uh, and, and, and Degwa, Jiro. We want to thank you. Um, and, and, and because some of you actually been doing it pro bono to get this young man out. And council called Kala in Machako has got all the 43 out as of yesterday. Um, so we really appreciate, we appreciate all this. And in fact, some of you are even paying because this young man can hardly pay <laughs> the bail cash, 10,000, 5,000, some cannot even afford. And you members of parliament and counter assembly were been able to do, uh, to do this cause justice. Our governors who have extended help, we recognize you and also thank you. We recognize the efforts you are making at the grassroots in rural areas where people need help most. Above all, we encourage everyone not to tire of doing good. We further take this opportunity to thank all those who have come out to honor and show love for our slain 